Hello, this is Matthew Yu. In today's video, we are going to talk about advanced workflow on how to load Microsoft Forms results data into Power BI. In our previous video, we talked about an easy solution to have Power BI auto-refresh the latest data from Microsoft Forms, but then we found out, in some use cases, this might not work. We received some advanced problem statement that people are using Microsoft Quiz module or some people are using their personal form already distributed, and they don't want to change the link, or the Microsoft form doesn't give you the option to output into Excel online form, then in this case, what can we do? There are a lot of workarounds and solutions. Today, I'm going to demonstrate one workaround that is using Power Automate and SharePoint lists to resolve this problem. A quick note, for those who are not familiar with Microsoft List and Microsoft Automate, Microsoft SharePoint List is a collection of data you can share with your team members. And Microsoft put in a new separate module called List in Office 365. It is a direct call into SharePoint List. You can think SharePoint List as an Excel sheet online, but with slightly less feature. And Power Automate is a service that helps you create automated workflow between apps and services to synchronize files, get notification, collect data, and more. It is a very powerful tool, which we will cover in the Q&A for some advanced tricks. Now, let's talk about some pros and cons for this. For the pro, first, you can customize your data to flow to anywhere, such as databases or Excel spreadsheet. And the second thing is, it can fit into most of the use cases and requirements, either it's a quiz module, existing form. But there are some cons. First, because you have two additional steps, there needs some additional setup and maintenance in the future. And the second thing is, when you design this, usually it is one form, one power ultimate flow, and one list. So it's one to one to one match. So if you have some new form that are coming, you have to redo this setup again. Before we go into the demo, here are some quick notes. First is the UI is based on March 2021. The second thing is, in the demo, I will use group form and group list to do the demonstration. Of course, you have the option to use something like my workspace and my list to make this a personal form or personal list. But I would highly recommend you to use the group and site to do the collaboration. And the third thing is, I recommend you to watch the previous V1 version to learn how to create a group and SharePoint site within three minutes. In today's video, I'm going to skip on the group creation and go straight to use the Power BI Forms demo group as an example. Let's get started. In today's demo, I will use a quiz to demonstrate how to create this flow. I will skip on this part to create a form, and then I will create the quiz, use Power Automate to schedule, and then to use Power BI to read from the SharePoint list. Let's go into Microsoft Forms to create a new quiz. Here is the main page for Microsoft Forms. I scroll down and go into my group, Power BI Forms demo group, and I will create a new quiz here. After spending some time, I have my quiz created. I have three questions in this quiz. The first is a multiple choice, second is also multiple choice, and third is a text question. Now the quiz is completed. Let's create a list to hold the data. I will click the waffle button and find list in this apps. Let's click here. Those are the old SharePoint lists that I own. I will click a new list to create a new one. In this case, we'll use a blank list. For the name of the list, I will put in my quiz result and my today's date. And the save to, I will save this into my demo group, which is Power BI Forms demo group. I will hit create. Now the list has been created. Let's edit this list to make sure the data can come in. There are multiple ways to customize your list. You can use this add columns button. I personally prefer to add it in the grid view because the experience is very similar to Excel. I click here and I start to edit. I will first change the first column. The title, it doesn't make sense. So I will rename this to be the name of the submitter. 
Then I will start to add new columns. My first one, I want to collect when did they submit. I will put in a submission time. Let's continue to add columns for our questions. I click Add Column, and here we will use text. Even you know some of the answer is number, but please use text for your question. And we can later we can modify the column in the Power BI. Text, and here is answer for question one. And we'll add another text. Answer for question two. The third one is answer for question three. This column name, you can use actual question, or you can just use the simple thing as I am doing here. Later, if you have more questions, you can also come in and click the Add button at any time. And that's it for this list. I will leave this page open and search for Power Automate on Google. And the first result, flow.microsoft.com, is our main page. Let's go in here. This is the main page for Power Automate. We will use an existing template to quickly create our flow. In the search bar, I will search for Form SharePoint. You will see there are a lot of useful templates on this page. We will use this one. It says Record Form Responses in SharePoint, and this is the most popular template that they have. I will click this. In this page, Power Automate will ask your permission to automate your flow. If you don't see a green check mark here, please click the Fix button to connect. After it is all green, let's click Continue. Here is a PowerMate low-code environment that we will see. It's very simple. Let's go through that. First, I will rename this as my demo for today. Let's edit the data flow from top to bottom. The first is a form ID, and it says when the new response is submitted. This is a trigger condition to trigger your flow. I will pick a form ID. I click the drop down. Here are all the forms that I have, but note here, these are your own personal form and personal credits that you have. If you have a group form, it will not be displayed here. So what you are going to do is go back to your group forms and look at the URL of your group form editing page. It says group ID equals to LX blah blah until the WCU here. In this case, I will select and click copy into everything. Then I will go back to my flow page, click pick a form, and enter a custom value. The value is this. I just copied. And that's it. Let's go into the second step. After your flow is triggered, Power Automate will apply to each of the response to get the response details. So in the first one, it will ask for the form ID information. We will again doing the same by entering the form ID as a custom value. I will scroll down to enter custom value and paste my form ID. The response detail, see this arrow, will be passed into the SharePoint list with a create item action. First, I will enter the site address which is the group name that I have. Here, I know my group is a Power BI Forms demo group. I will select this. In the list name, I will find the list I just created. In the dropdown, I look for quiz result 0307. This is one I just created. Here, Power Automate will be very smart to detect all the columns names we just created. Names, submission time, question one, two, three. Name, submission time, question one, two, three. Let's start with the name. First, after I click the name text box on the right part, you will see it will give you all the response details. This one, I will put in responders email. The second one is the submission time. I will be also using submission time from the response details. The third thing is the answer Q1. I will put in the first question, what is the answer for one plus one? 
Second is answer Q2. I will put in the result detail for what is the answer for 2 times 3. The Q3 is my feedback question. So I will go in here and select my feedback from the quiz. And that's it. We can save and to start to use this flow. Let's do a first quick review on this low code flow, how that is doing. The first trigger is whenever there is a new response is submitted, Power Automate will be triggered and sent into the SharePoint list with the column that you assigned. If this looks too quick or this is your first time using Power Automate, don't worry. You can follow the video step by step for a quick test or even submit a ticket with Microsoft Ultimate team to get additional help. Let's save this. Once it's saved, we can test it. Let's go, in, let's go back. The pop-up says your flow is ready to go. Let's start a quick test on this flow. In the middle of the screen, it provides the detail of your flow status. And at the bottom, it shows the 28-day run history to give you some test result and the successful and failure. Let's start with a quick test by submitting a quiz result. I switch back to the quiz and let's go to preview mode to submit a result. I go to preview and I put in some answers and hit submit. And let's do another one. Also go to preview. This time I will put in this and test two, submit. All right, now let's go into our flow page. In the flow editing, let's do a quick refresh. You can see it says 40 seconds ago and 50 seconds ago. There are two succeeded status, which means now the flow is dropping the data from the Microsoft Forms into the SharePoint. Let's go back to our list. You will see that there are two new entries that I just entered already in the SharePoint list. And here is a complete flow cycle from the form into SharePoint. We will use this SharePoint list as our data source to feed into Power BI. In Power BI, I will get the data. In this time, I will select more. I will type in the search SharePoint. We are going to select SharePoint list, hit connect. The first thing is, it will ask for a site URL. Let's go back to our SharePoint list. Here is my list page. We will copy this link, but look at here. Let's find out list. Everything before the list are the information that we will need. I will copy this one. Let's go back to Power BI. I will paste the link I just copied, and it looks very simple like this. I will hit OK. The authentication step, please do not select anonymous. We will use Microsoft account and click sign in. After I sign in, I hit connect. The system will display all the tables that it can capture from the SharePoint. And the thing that we need is our quiz result 0307. I will hit this. And this is the data that I need. I will check this and click load. Now the data came into Power BI. But take a quick look at the data. You will see the system also imported the SharePoint with some additional attributes. For those, if you don't need, please feel free to delete those. At the end, those are the most important table structures that we'll need. Even you can see this, unfortunately, the system has modified the column name for us, but the sequential order of our questions will be remain the same. Question one, question two, and question three. You can double click to change the column names. So it will display correctly on your Power BI front end report. Before we end this demo, we are going to do another final test to make sure Power BI and SharePoint list has been connected. I will go into the quiz and submit another answer. I go to preview. This time, I will type in all wrong answer with test three. 
I hit submit. Once this is done, I will go to Power BI. I go into home and let's do a quick refresh. And you can see the third new row is in here. So which means it has been connected. The remaining thing is I will just publish the report into powerbi.com and to schedule the refresh. And that's it. That concludes the demo. Let's go into some Q&A here. The first question is, can you use some other data sources to replace SharePoint lists? The answer is absolutely yes. In Power Automate, you can change the SharePoint create item action to other actions. For example, you can add a row to a table for Excel online, so your data source becomes Excel. Or you can even insert it a row in a SQL database or an Oracle database. So now your new data source becomes a database. Some other cool things that you can try with Power Automate is you can also send an email to some group or some team members. There are some new submissions. Or you can also post in the team's message and you can receive the latest result. And the actual bonuses is you can also have a totally two branches so things can work parallelly, which means you can mix and match. For example, you can not only put a row into a table, but also send you additional email as notification. Again, Power Automate is a super powerful tool. Even it looks a little bit complicated, but it is very easy to learn due to its low code feature. And you can use any combination to have a lot of good ideas to fit in any of your use cases. I highly recommend you take a look at Power Automate after this video. The second question is, later what if I change my questions I want to add or delete? If you plan to add a new question, first you should go to your SharePoint list to add a new column so the answers can sit in there. The second is, you can go into the create item steps in your flow to modify how the data got flowed into different columns. If you delete a question, you can remove this from your flow. If you edit a new question, you can add your new questions into the new column. And of course, if all of the above looks too quick or you are new to Power Automate and got stuck at some point, please feel free to submit a support ticket with Power Automate team. I will put the link in the description below. And the last thing is, again, Power Automate is a super powerful business tool that can help you automate a lot of things. I highly recommend you to start to go through some of the cool templates that they posted to get some ideas and thoughts. And this concludes our demo today. That's it. Thank you for watching and I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave in the comment section below. I will see you next time and have a good day.